we're about to find out what's going to happen in July CPI in a day, and that will be a very important determinant factor uh, for Federal Reserve to decide how large of a rate cut they're going to do on their uh, September meeting. And uh, in this video at the end, I'm also going to share with you what the smart money is doing uh, during this correctional period. So on August 12th, uh, Federal Reserve Bank of New York released its monthly survey of consumer expectation data. According to this survey, uh, consumers three year ahead inflation expectation, which is shown in blue, um, fell by 0.6% down to 2.3%. If we zoom out of the chart, uh, the three year uh, inflation expectation is shown in red, and uh, what's very interesting is that uh, the current reading of 2.3% is the lowest reading since the inception of the survey data since June of uh, 2013. So according to the press release that's sent out along with the data, it says uh, this decline was mostly pr pronounced uh, for responders with high school education or less and those uh, with uh, annual household income under $50,000. So I personally think uh, those people with who have lower income are usually more sensitive uh, to inflation. So for this group of people to lower their three-year inflation expectation, um, it's likely due to them actually feeling like feeling the effect uh, effect of inflation cooling off in their day-to-day -day lives. So it's probably suggesting that uh, the inflation pressure is genuinely easing. Okay, causing them to have that uh, optimistic outlook. Right now, the focus of the market is July CPI report that's going to be released in a day on Wednesday, August 14th. That's going to determine the path for the Fed funds rate. According to the CME FedWatch tool, uh, the probability of a, a 0 0.25 uh, and a 0 0.5 rate cut in September is 50-50. This is the current market expectation of the uh, CPI release. Um, and uh, of course, for July, uh, it shows you uh, the core CPI forecast month over month is 0 0.2. Previously, it was 0 0.1. Uh, year over year, headline CPI for July is uh, 3%. Uh, expectation, and previously, we got 3%. And the month over month uh, headline CPI expected to be 0 0.2. Uh, previously, it was minus uh, 0 0.1. So if the reported data, the actual data, is in line with the expectation, Federal Reserve will most likely to cut by 0.25%. And if the reported data is worse than the expectation, meaning that it's cooler than expected, Federal Reserve will most likely to cut 0.5%. It's going to be interesting to see what's going to happen in the market, especially during uh, this period of correction. Right? We're definitely in a correctional period. But before I let you go, I want to share this with you. Uh, it's the flow of the smart money. Okay, so according to the latest data I have from uh, Goldman Sachs, uh, it's, ref it's reflecting the data as of uh, August 9th. Um, the hedge funds has been buy has been net buyers of this dip. Okay, the blue color in this chart uh, shows you the aggregated uh, weekly net flow, uh, pointing to the Z score on the left hand side. So the Z score show you uh, how many standard deviation the data is away from the mean. Okay, so pr a prime broker. Uh, is a bro is a stock broker for hedge funds and Goldman Sachs is one of the major prime brokers in Canada sorry in US so it's its market share is about 20% and its data this data here reflects the uh, hedge fund uh, that uses Goldman Sachs as their uh, prime broker as we can see uh, the S&P 500 this is not S&P 500 but this is a basket of, of uh, instruments 
or financial product that is considered a, a long equity, U.S. equity long here for Goldman Sachs. Uh, so that's pretty much represent the equity market. As we can see when this dip hits and the blue lines underneath, right, the blue bars, there is a huge net buying going on all the way reach to standard deviation of apart from the mean. Okay. Thank you very much. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.